The world loves to mess with croissant these days. We've had so many variations from the regular croissant. I've already shown you how to make them. I've also shown you how to make pain au chocolat. Today, I'm gonna to show you the New York rolls. Well, a version of it, a one that you can make at home, okay? And we're gonna stuff it with a hazelnut pastry cream and coat it with fresh roasted hazelnut and then a beautiful couverture of white dark chocolate and praline. Let me tell you, it is very gourmand, like we say back home. Anyway, put your apron on and let's get cooking. Okay, first thing first, we need to grab some croissant dough. I've made them before, you can check out the recipe down here. And we're gonna start rolling it to make our New York rolls. First, we're gonna add some flour into a bench. We're gonna unwrap the dough because we've made it ahead and we're gonna start rolling it. At this point, we are not looking to do any more lamination. We only need to roll it flat. The idea is to roll it to about four to five millimeters. We still want some nice thickness. Don't do it too, too flat. Otherwise, you're not gonna have something that's gonna be nice and airy with a nice voltage, nice lamination like we're looking for. The idea is to build our rectangle and once we have that beautiful rectangle, we're gonna start shaping our New York rolls. I will say, I think we needed a larger paton, larger dough for this recipe or some smaller ring. I think my rings were about four inches diameter. I think a three inch diameter would have been fine. Once our dough is rolled out, we're gonna remove the edges like we've done before for the croissant and the pain au chocolat. And as I've told you before, those trims are delicious. Then we're gonna roll the dough over itself like you would do in a cinnamon roll, if you can see the visual. And once we have a boudin, a little sausage, we're gonna start shaping the New York rolls and cutting them off. We're looking about five centimeters of width. I will say for the perfect New York rolls, 25 to 30 centimeters length would have been absolutely perfect. Once detailed, we're gonna add a bit of water at the top and we're gonna re-roll them and place them in the center of our circle. Like I said, this is about four inches wide. I think three inch wide would have been much better. Um, also, given the fact that you could have had some length. You also wanna to try to shape them so they try to keep their original snails-like shape as much as possible. And you do not want them to be taller than your ring mold. From here, we're just gonna add a piece of passion paper all around. We're now gonna let them proof for about two hours in a warm environment, about 25 degrees Celsius, the idea is that they're double in size. I'm gonna put them in my oven with the light on and the door slightly ajar. In the meantime, I'm going to grab some fresh hazelnut that I give a slight roast and I'm gonna chop them up, not too, too fine as we still want some consistency. We'll then set them aside and check on our New York rolls that seem to be proof. I'll then add my parchment paper and my tray on top. Let's now bake our New York rolls in the oven at 180 Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit for about 25 to 30 minutes. Once fully baked, we are going to remove the circle on the outer side and we're gonna place them to cool down on the resting rack. As you can tell, because they were not the full size, they don't have that perfectly run effect. So the way to fix it, I'm gonna remove the bottom that's not so beautiful, and I'm gonna make them stand. That's why I called it a snail. I'll then grab a piping tip, and I'm gonna create some holes so I can fill them up with some pastry cream, the hazelnut pastry cream I did in another episode. So I'm going to add the link on the top so you can refer back to that. Of course, you could do any pastry cream or any filling as you would want. You could make a fair or shade one, you could make a vanilla, one tonka bean really really what you want then now we're gonna start working on the topping i'm gonna add some white chocolate with some milk chocolate add some praline into my double boiler and we're gonna melt that all together once melted after heat i'm going to add my fontaine it's pretty much like crepe that has been dehydrated it's super crunchy it's gonna add a super nice texture to my topping because we made those holes, this is what's going to cover it. So no one will ever know that these guys are stuffed. Once we are done with this mixture, we're gonna place it into a piping bag, which will make it a lot easier to pour over on your rolls. But of course you could just do it with a spoon if you do not have any piping bag at home. 
Now I'm going to garnish them. You do want to be generous and of course we're going to let them rest so they start to harden a little bit. The idea is that you can actually pick them up and enjoy them. Look at this. It is so generous and let me tell you, I cannot wait to try them. I mean, that shine is gorgeous and that crush is going to be absolutely incredible. We'll then top it up with our roasted nuts and that's pretty much it. We have a beautiful New York rolls ready to be enjoyed. After I let them rest, I'm going to plate them on top of parchment paper. Of course, if you made the round one, you're gonna need something like a bagel holder to keep them nice and straight and not have any problem with them falling. And that's about it. Now you can enjoy them. And here we have it. A delicious New York roll, plenty of hazelnut, very gourmand, like I said earlier. I'm excited to try it. It's not really hard to make once you had the croissant made. I don't know how to eat it without putting stuff everywhere. If you enjoy this recipe, please like, comment, and subscribe. The recipe will be in the description below. And feel free to let me know in the comments what recipe would you like to see next. I will see you on another video. And on that note, bon appétit.